Hi guys, so just to continue my video uh, with the frozen theme, I'm going to show you how to make Olaf. So this is how he looks like when he's finished. Um, this was Anna that we did in the uh, previous video. And this is Elsa, also in the previous video. So, um, we'll get started. So I'm just going to leave him here. So, um, what you will need for his head, I find that it looks very close to his uh, actual figure, is the 6 inch Geo Blossom um, balloon. So, once you pump it up, you need to inflate it so that you can twist the head. Which is up there. And you're going to tie it. Try to uh, give a bit of space when you're tying and put the knot further down so that when you twist the, uh, twist the head, it can leave, give some air here. So, see this? One, two, three, four, five. And you twist the one, two, three. his body bigger than his head, which I, I didn't really happy with. So this one I'm just going to measure so that his head and his body is not too... Oh, that would be good. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to tie it. Okay. for his hair. Okay. 
these up or you can fold down, whichever you like. So it looks like that. Just to save balloon for this tutorial, because I um, just want you to get an idea, I'm just going to pump two. So pump it like that much. And then tie it. Again, leave a bit of space up, because we're going to try to um, save balloon by twisting these together. So rather than you using four balloons, you just have to use two balloons. when you're making a few but if you're doing an event you know fundraising and you're making hundreds of them it does add up so that's just a way for you to save and also um, it's, uh, it's less time consuming okay so tie use four balloons, this one I just used two. And then we are going to put them together. To this and then take them down. And you're just going to tape it down. So, just right here, okay, eyes and the mouth.
and the buttons on him. Again, I did a bit bigger on this one, which I don't like, but I think this one turned out quite good. So once again, um, thank you for watching. Um, you're going to get bored of me reminding this, but uh, it's the reason why I am doing these videos for it. So um, I am raising awareness against child sex slavery and human trafficking. Um, I hope after watching this video, you are aware of this issue. Um, every year, over millions of children as young as six and women are being sold into child sex slavery and human trafficking and some of them serve to 10 15 men a day um, it's horrific what their body's been through and um, the hideous crime that is happening all over the world so uh, please don't just ignore it uh, please be a voice be a voice stop child sex slavery um, you can do more than you think um, you can raise awareness within your community and let people know. You may be saving someone uh, down the street. It's not just happening anywhere far. It's, it could be within your city. And I'm in Toronto, uh, Canada, and it even happened here in Toronto, which is sick and it's, it's very sad. So um, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm doing these videos for a cause. So please give it a thumbs up, spread the word, and uh, hopefully... Um, through, through our uh, networking and through our determination, we can end child sex slavery in an upcoming day, in the upcoming future. So, once again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy the tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.